high Pisces. This will be a general reading, having a look to see who's coming in for you soulmate-wise, if this person is already in your life, what sort of personality characteristics they'll have and anything more that we can learn about them. Guys, thank you for joining me. Let's have a look and see what's happening for you, Pisces. Who is your soulmate reading? Who is your soulmate reading? Okay, Pisces, what do we have? Priestess of Success, March 18th to April 14th. These dates may resonate with this person that's coming in for you. You may be meeting during these dates or this person might be born during these dates or have auspicious um, things happening in their life around this time frame. Priestess of Success, this is, this is someone coming in that is wanting success or has success behind them already. I feel like this person is going to be successful in pursuing you, Pisces. I feel like you'll have such a strong connection to this person and I don't think there'll be any fickleness or any second guesses or any hesitations because I feel like this person is going to be successful at winning you over. They also, I feel, are very ambitious or a high achiever. So I think because of this, they've attracted a lot of success into their lives. Success in establishing themselves a home, establishing themselves a name, establishing themselves a career. I feel like there's success around them which is very, very positive here. This is um, movement, and if this hasn't come um, to them yet, I feel like they have a lot of success in their future, which I think will attract you in a really, really great way here, Pisces. Pisces, I think you'll be very attracted to how strong this person is and how able this person is. And I feel some of you might even be meeting through success, if that makes any sense at all. So maybe through career, maybe through successful pursuits. You did have two cards that sort of flung out here. So I'm going to use these. Okay, the Priestess of Wishes. This is beautiful. This person is a dream come true, is a wish come true, so to speak. I feel like they're going to fulfill wishes when they come into your life. Now, it's almost like this person could be tied into your wishes of success somehow. This keeps coming up, Pisces. So if you're if you're a person that's aiming to be um, a successful YouTuber, a celebrity, or a publisher, or a screenwriter, or um, a, des a graphic designer, or a website host, or something like this, or an app developer, software engineer, whatever it is that you're trying to be, Pisces, this person is somehow connected with that. It's almost like this person is going to come into your life when you find, when a wish is fulfilled regarding success is what I'm seeing here. So for some of you, there's a strong affiliation. If you haven't found your soulmate yet, this person could somehow be lurking where success will pave the way to, to their meeting, to you meeting them. So this is interesting here. This this changes things. But look, I feel like they're very, they're a wishful thinker. They're a dreamer, much like you, which I like. They're very big on fantasy and conjuring up ideas and creativity. So again, a lot of commonality between the two of you here with the Priestess of Wishes. This person is someone you've been thinking about, dreaming about, or wishing about Pisces, and they're coming in for you in a wonderful way here. What else do we have? Happiness, bliss true love, success, just really, there's a lot of complacency here with the priestess of happiness. There's dancing and joy and creation, possibly children with this soulmate. Um, there's the pomegranate fruit. And we see here this ancient key symbol. <clears throat> now this symbol, where is it? Right at the top there. Now this symbol is a ancient key to the to the temple of solomon so it, it is it does have a biblical association this person could be you know they could be a church goer they could be quite religious yes but i also feel like they hold key to success and happiness at the same time so i feel like when this person is going to come into your life you, you will see a lot of beautiful changes pisces for some of you this person is already around you and it's something to do in connection with your success or their success this is how the two of you will meet or how the two of you are destined to come across each other. Okay, the Priestess of Good Fortune. This is money, wealth, abundance, prosperity, good times, good life experiences. Luck is on your side, Pisces, and vice versa. I feel like you two are very similar, actually. You're very similar souls, or you'll connect in a very beautiful way here together because of the similarities the goals that you have. This person is bringing in good fortune, good times, luck, experience, money, wealth, and success. So this is very nice. I think there's a lot of material gains, not only love and a wonderful connection to have with this person, but this is fortune. This is you getting very lucky with this soulmate, very auspicious circumstances surround this person. Okay, the three of chalices. Now, the Three of Chalices in this deck is about healing. 
it's about celebration, it's about toast or relief, overcoming obstacles, toasting to success. Now, whatever you, whatever you define success by or whatever this person defines success by, this is the meeting. It keeps coming up, Pisces. This is how the two of you will be affiliated. It could happen at a celebration. You might be meeting each other in honor of the other somehow. There's honorability here with the three of chalices. But this is about healing. This person is going to heal you or help you heal, Pisces. They're quite an emotional person. They are governed by cups in some sort of element um, in their natal chart. So they definitely have that emotional and nurturing side that you'll appeal to. This is falling in love and this is healing. So if you've been unhappy before or your wishes haven't been fulfilled, I feel like this person is going to come in and really change this for you, Pisces, in a wonderful emotional way here healing maybe it's them maybe they're healing don't forget pisces they could be healing as well there might be something going on with them they're in a stage of healing or they will be in a stage of healing when the two of you will meet and connect together okay the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles is about dispersal distribution division of goods and fairness this person is very big on fairness and equality I feel like they have to share success or a part of a bigger picture when it comes to their career or their personal life, but they're, they're fine with sharing. That's not an issue for them because I feel like they've grown up like this or they've had an upbringing where they've had to share. So they might have many siblings or it's almost like they're in co-partner or co-sharing a company or, or a project or a script or a book of some kind. I feel like they also do some sort of collaborative work. And again, I'm, le I'm inclined to think that's how the two of you will connect because of a collaboration, perhaps. But this is fairness, imports, exports. They possibly work with distribution of goods, finances, services, products, etc. Earth energy here. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So they do have that practical, logical element when it comes to money. Okay, more Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is someone who is very grounded. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is someone who is this sort of creative energy where someone is working on themselves, working on expansion, on money, degrees, uh, working hard for financial success or working hard to improve themselves in life. But I think it's more to do with the material world. It could be emotionally. I think emotionally they're working on themselves, on how they come across to people, how they are in relationships, which is really refreshing. But I think in, in the most likely aspect, they're working on their success right now. They're working on their fortune and good fortune is definitely coming to them. And when you come into their life, Pisces, I think you'll be able to enjoy this with them because it will very much appeal to you and your interests with the eight of pentacles eight is a number of abundance so there is money coming in for them they are successful at what they do and this is how you might notice them pisces this is how it's and it could even be someone in the public eye that you just feel is meant for you and there's a reason and maybe this is it maybe this is the person you'll end up with maybe this is this beautiful soulmate connection that's coming in for you with the eight of pentacles this is hard work, dedication, perseverance. They're a very dedicated person. They'll be dedicated towards the relationship. They're dedicated to a lot of different aspects in their life because it's in their nature. It's who they are. They're very practical and they follow their passions. Okay, the Tower card. Major shakeups for this person. Upheavals. Um, I'm thinking that they tried to build something and it fell apart. Now you can see that these two gentlemen here are building this pyramid that has been knocked down by this massive thunderbolt of lightning. So I'm wondering that it's almost like they were completing something but it, they got held back or there was an obstacle. Now this could be in regards to their relationship. You do normally represent um, this um, the moon energy and for some reason even though the moon is not present here I'm thinking of the moon when I see this tower card because you can see these dark I guess what looks like a dark twilight sort of light here around the tower. So I'm thinking that there's some sort of, this could be a relationship with you, with the two of you. There could be some sort of setback between the two of you. I don't think so though. I think it's this person's previous relationship that they've had that might have ended really, really quickly. I feel like they were almost at a pivotal point in their life or in relationship and they got held back or there was something that 
there was an obstacle or something that came crumbling down or some sort of foundation that they thought they had built came crumbling down and they're still healing from it but, but believe it or not Pisces I think this had to happen for them because it's going to lead them to you Okay, the temperance card strong sagittarius here this is blessings alchemy your creation this is divine intervention here you can see this angel flowing with the two of cups the two of cups is the two of cups and the lovers card uh, with the two lovers coming together into a union here so it's alchemy and it's creation with the temperance card but it's also patience being able to exercise temperance, being able to be patient, being able to create. I feel like you're in the creation process of attracting this person into your life. For some of you, this person could already be in your life, but for others, I feel like you're attracting this person in and it's happening behind the scenes. You may not see it yet because this higher power is orchestrating this meeting or bringing the two of you together. I also feel like this person is very spiritual. And they're very big on making things happen, Pisces. They're all about, how do I say this? They're all about creating their own luck. They're a big believer in this. They, they create, they've attracted a lot of experiences into their life and they'll continue to do so because of who they are. Very spiritual or religious. They like to be with nature. They're very fascinated by the metaphysical, I think, with the temperance card. Could be a Sagittarius here. Okay, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. This is someone who is quite direct, very charismatic, articulates themselves very well with the King of Swords here. I almost feel like they're in a place of importance and it's something to do with communication, writing or creativity. They may be in the educational system, you know, they might be teaching, they might be a scholar, they might be a writer of some kind. I feel like they're very good with words or communication and they're very good at teaching, writing or doing something with words or communication. Good communicator, very clear, concise, and open. I feel like there's important conversations that happen. I feel like this person likes to talk about philosophy, spirituality, religion, um, history. I feel like they're, they're, broad, they're very broad in that regard. They're very open-minded, um, and they're highly intelligent here with the King of Swords. Could also work with law, litigation, could be customer service, um, or something like this, something in this regard here with the King of Swords. They do have air somewhere in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy that they're carrying with them. For some of you, I feel like you've had some sort of contact with this person already, whether it's been direct or indirect contact. Something has either you've crossed paths before, you've had a conversation, there was a card that flipped over. What was it? It could be that with the King of Swords. And then you have the Emperor. This is strong Aries energy coming through here. Again, this person could be quite intimidating or influential. I feel like they're in a position to be at work or possibly in life. This is who they are in character. They could be a little bit cold on the exterior. Or because they're healing. Because the Emperor often carries this intimidating energy or, seem, you know, we can see him to be quite barren. It's almost like we can't really get through to the emperor because you see these barren lands and he's just so such he's such a prominent um confronting figure so i feel like when the two of you connect or when the two of you meet this person is going to be quite confronting and possibly very i hate to say this but quite in your face pisces and it's almost like you won't be able to avoid them and then you'll sort of start connecting or they'll just appear as your emperor and you'll think, wow, this is my king, this is my queen, I'm putting this person on a pedestal for a reason, because of the connection you share together. They're very influential over you, Pisces, but in a really, really good way. They'll be, um, they'll be your anchor and they'll be there to strengthen and guide you. But, um, you know, maybe it might get a little bit too, too much for you, but I think for the most part they are very good with words. And I think because they've experienced hardships before that they're still healing from, they know how to apply this into their life and learn from these lessons. Could be someone older, very wise though, older or maybe an old soul or maybe that is inspired or led by, um, there was a car that flipped over, or led by, or inspired by older traditions somehow. Okay, the Five of Cups. 
okay, I think there is sadness or melancholy around this person. You see the three of cups here could be tied into the three here, the reason why they're healing. Maybe it's because of an addiction. Maybe it's because of a sadness. Maybe they've lost certain things or things have spilt in front of them. So I think there's been some sort of um, occurrence in their life or event that has caused them to be upset or um, sad or melancholy or reflective. I think it could be past relationships, but they have a wonderful relationship behind them. And I think this is their next relationship is with you. This is it. You're the person they've been waiting for with the five of cups here. They might be prone to bouts of depression, anxiety, or melancholy as well. Um, and I think it has to do with them in some sort of healing process, to be honest. They're in some sort of healing process currently. Could also have an addiction of some kind, drugs, alcohol, um, overindulgence in money there could be some sort of addiction or they don't they're not right now acknowledging the support system they have around them okay the strength card so at a time when the two of you will meet you'll be when you're in your power and when every when you have strength behind you now the dates june 10th to july 7th could be significant around the time that you meet or you make contact both direct or indirect with the strength card here it's at a time when you're most physically strong Pisces um, or mentally strong so a, a time of success a time of strength a time of leadership is when this person is going to come into your life something about strengthening um, ideas strengthening weaknesses strengthening opportunities it's at a time where you're fulfilling a lot of these things and this is when this person is going to be coming in around you at a time of strength Mental strength, emotional strength, physical strength. I think there's some sort of connection with this person here during that time frame for you. So look, I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much again for joining me, liking, sharing and subscribing.